All right, I want to bring you more now on the power struggle at Naryelsk. I'm joined live from Moscow by mining expert Rob Edwards. He's chief analyst at Renaissance Capital. Thanks very much for speaking to us, Rob. So what do you expect to happen at the shareholders' meeting today? Well, it's been a long build-up towards this meeting. I would expect that uh, management and Interos retain a, a fair degree of control over the company. We know that uh, management and the company will be voting Treasury stock, which amounts to up to 8% of the voting rights. Um, Rusal have mounted quite an ardent campaign with the hearts and minds of institutions have really had to get involved uh, in, in what is a, uh, uh, the, the biggest board battle in Russia we've seen since uh, UES in the earlier part of the last decade. Um, but I think it will be fairly tight. Um, it, it's, it's very hard to say what the outcome will be at this stage, but the results will be out, out, later, out um, later tonight in Moscow. And Nariel has said that they're not expecting the shareholder meeting to go particularly smoothly. Uh, they're saying that they're expecting a provocation. What exactly does that mean? Well, the, um, we're not really sure what Russell has up its sleeve uh, and what it's lined up. I mean, they uh, were dealing with uh, probably the most determined group in Russia in the form of Russell and its shareholder, Oleg Deripaska. They will not lie down on this issue. And uh, if they don't succeed today, they're certainly going to pursue um, what they see as their fundamental right to have proportional representation on the board of Norilsk. Um, but uh, what exactly Norilsk uh, management and Interos intimate by there being a, a fairly disruptive meeting we have yet to see. And just to put this in a, into perspective for us, will the voting that, we, that, that happens in this meeting, in, in, will, is it going to mark the end of this battle? Uh, I wouldn't expect so, no. Um, since Russell became a shareholder in the middle of 2007, you know, there's, there's been a, a fairly tense to destructive relationship between Russell and Interos. Uh, management have aligned themselves firmly with Interos. So basically, management have shown themselves not to be that independent, um, but insist they're protecting the rights of the, 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 you know, the broader shareholder base. Um, I wouldn't expect a, a detente to break out any time soon. This is, a, as Oleg Deripaska has said himself, basically uh, almost a fight to the death. And uh, there's a, there's, this is a large strategic asset. Uh, the cash flows out of this asset are extremely robust uh, in, in most market conditions. And uh, this asset is an is, is, is extremely important part of the Russell uh, um, NAV. Um, so this is going to be uh, this is going to be one of the major acts in a long-running drama between these two companies. Absolutely, Robert Edwards, chief analyst at Renaissance Capital. Thanks so much for shedding some light on this story.